there, friends. It's Mia Senva here again, and with some familiar friends that we've actually already done a review on. But I wanted to kind of go ahead and show you um, some of the awesome, cool new changes that they did do uh, from the prototype that I did the original review on to the ones that are now in production. So this is going to be just basically another quick overview of how the body is and what kind of mechanisms these use that kind of differ from some of our other 24 or 27 centimeter dolls. And basically the main thing that I would love to show you is what we have different inside of our heads. The parts that are included are going to be one tail, they're going to have one eye holder, and they're going to have a set of magnets that come with it. Pretty awesome that they actually give you the magnets separate. The reason behind this is because that way you can place the tail in any position or any area you want. Uh, if you wish to put it in the back right here, you can go ahead and attach it there. Uh, maybe you want the magnet to be on the outside or maybe you want it to be inside of the doll. Um, it's going to be up to you. You do have a place inside that you could slip the magnet into the inside. Uh, only conflict that might um, result in that is that it's having to go through a layer of ABS now versus it being on the outside. Which it may be covered because, you know, your doll is going to be clothed or if it isn't going to be clothed, the uh, magnet will be sitting on top of it so it shouldn't really be all that noticeable. But um, totally up to you. Uh, this new eye system, which I mentioned before, is a little bit different from the uh, eye holders that they've had in the past. Um, this one, it's already put all together in one piece. You don't have to worry about doing the parts separately. You essentially just go ahead and put in your eye, hopefully with the stem. The bodies are going to be the same um, of that as the Hujo berries and all those other different Hujo girls that we have. Um, the main key difference that you're going to notice right off the bat, obviously, is going to be a change of the hands. So as you can see, the hands are actually little cat paws, and it is made of two different pieces here so it's got the paw itself and then it's got the floating piece that is there and that's just to kind of you know give it a little bit more movement to move around and whatnot um, really really nicely crafted it's really cute um, it'll make a really nice piece to paint if you decide to paint the paws here's a look at the gray one if you want to see what the gray one looks like so really really cute very cat like Pause. The feet are going to be another thing that are going to be um, different. You're not going to have normal human feet. You're going to have little cat paw feet and um, they have the little markings at the bottom like as if they had little pads on their uh, feet. Very stable too, might I add. It's It's got a wider surface for them to stand on so these these anthros that they made stand really nice. So like I mentioned before, the head is one of the main key differences that I wanted to go ahead and show you. And I mean, right off the bat, you can see that it's it's a little bit closely, a little bit more closely knit than where it was before, um, because they did change the design a bit. And um, I'll go ahead and I'll show you uh, some images and some video of the old head compared to this head. So yeah, I know the heads the heads can be a little bit difficult to remove. Um, just have patience, use your nails, um, I, I don't know what else to tell you guys, just uh, be patient with it. Just go back and forth and you'll get it. I mean, I'm getting it right now, so I mean, you can see it's opening. But yeah, I mean, it's not the, I'm not gonna lie, it's not like the easiest thing to do, but they do it because it, I would rather it be a little bit hard to take off than me being able to take it off or it falling off. Um, randomly. So I mean it, it comes off you just have to have a little bit of patience and just kind of work at it and be like I said patient but automatically off the bat, you, right off the bat you can see that there's some key differences from the first time I showed you this head. So you can see here they did change this design a little bit here um, we do have the pegs here that will match of course with the other one the ring has been changed also before, uh, I don't know if you all remember, but um, like I said, I'll be showing some video with this. Um, the little piece that was here was like a little silicone piece, and it was shaped like a C. And as much as I thought that was really, really cool, um, it just seemed like it was not holding it the way it should. So uh, now there is a metal ring here that goes ahead, and it's it's around the neck hole, so that, that way it kind of holds the knot in place. Um, and you can see that it's 
that it's nicely securely on there. The knot is there. I mean, this is not going to slip off. And even if it did happen to slip off in any shape, way, or form, uh, the good thing is, is your your knot is not going to shoot into the body because the ring is going to prevent it from going down. So, um, very, very nicely changed there. Um, I mean, as you can see, this is amazing. Like the little range of motion that the head has, it's it's amazing. The other side here has the matching pegs in which they they match up to. Um, just make sure that your pegs are in there all the way before um, you just say, oh my goodness, it's, it's, it's only closed like to here and it, I don't know why. You just have to make sure that you're pressing on it. Um, give it a little that extra pressure to make sure it closes. But um, as I was mentioning before, the the eyepiece, which is a little bit different um, from your other standard Hujo dolls that you have, it has the uh, place to where you can insert these two rings to these two pegs that are on top. Your eyes, of course, will already be in here, and then this third one matches with the peg that's down here. So it's a really nice, secure way of putting your eyes in, and it's also super duper awesome because with stem eyes, which is kind of the eye you want to have inside of these dolls, you don't want to do half rounds. Um, if you have the stem eyes, it makes it so easy to adjust. It's like a little like video game controller, so you can go ahead and adjust your eyes, and you don't have to worry about resetting putty or anything like that. Really, really smart uh, design that we have here for our eyes for these uh, newer Hujos that we got here. Everything else is, is pretty much the same. Sculpt hasn't changed or anything like that. It's just this key thing that they did change on us, which was uh, a part of the uh, neck and head piece, which is just so much. I think, in my opinion, it seems a lot more solid too. And I might be, I might be, it just might be a little bit crazy, but it seems like it's almost a little bit thicker too, but um, it just feels a lot better and a lot safer too. So to close it up you're just going to go ahead and match your pieces. You're going to make sure you have a nice tight push on it. And there we go. She's all closed up now. So um, everything else is stupendous about this little anthro doll. Um, and like what I mentioned before in the other video, the other review that I did on these cats was that the cool thing about this and what I love so much about Cujo is they make dolls that are very affordable for you to get and if you're kind of wanting a taste of what an anthro doll is or just BJDs in general it's it's a really good company to kind of test the waters with uh, per se but um, everything else is the same jointing uh, motion of head is really really awesome uh, for the little cat dolls that we have the Freyas are just amazing I just love the head because there's so many little cat like poses that they can do and kind of pull off and I mean, just look at that. That's awesome. Looks down. Looks all the way up. Can look to the side. Like, what? This side. What? And we can, of course, turn our head. This way. Looking that way. Looking that way. So just to kind of show you why she resets to the front so easily, um, we have a peg and, like, a little notch there that it slips into. So that's why we uh, go back to the front so easily and I mean we can turn to the side as well but we got that front position locked in there because of that little piece there. Those are just kind of some of the key differences I wanted to go ahead and point out to you all um, and I know it, it was a little bit different from the original review that I had but like I had mentioned before the Freyas that I had in at that time were actually just kind of prototypes and so, um, since that prototype design, they did make the changes, and I wanted to make sure that you guys saw that um, and give you kind of an update on what they are now. They are just super duper awesome. If you're looking for an anthro doll, and if you're looking for something that is uh, customizable and really, really cute and very, very affordable, this is definitely a really good choice uh, to go with. I'll be putting the like measurements and what kind of eye size and everything like that in the comments bar below. Um, and as always, if you are curious about learning more about these dolls or if you want to know where you can get your very own Hujo Freya, you can go ahead and check out the Junkie Spot, which is www.junkiespot.com. You will also find a bunch of other plethora of really cool dolly stuff there, not just only Hujos. And I highly suggest that you take a look. And if you're curious and you want one, totally go and buy one! Anywho, I hope you guys are having a fantabulous, awesome day. 
Any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below and I will try my best to get back to you. Bye, guys!